Colorado's taxpayer bill of rights is causing some real contortions by Democrats this year who would like to get credit for the big tax refunds we got. The same tax refunds the Democrats tried to kill permanently but couldn't. Politics guy Marshall Zellinger found Tabor claims starring in ads on both sides of the highly competitive 8th Congressional District in Adams and Weld counties. You know that meme where Spider-Man is pointing a finger at Spider-Man? That's kind of happening in these two political ads in Congressional District 8. Here's an ad that attacks Democrat Yadira Caraveo. It supports Republican Barbara Kirkmeyer. It's paid for by the National Republican Congressional Committee in Washington, D.C. Caraveo even pushed to eliminate Tabor, ending your tax refund. And here's an ad Caraveo paid for, claiming Kirkmeyer is also against your tax refund. But Barbara Kirkmeyer voted no instead. Like I said, kind of like Spider-Man. The claim in the ad that attacks Caraveo is true. She supported a 2019 ballot issue to let the state keep Tabor refunds. If her side had won, it didn't, you would no longer get Tabor refunds. But on the other side, Caraveo's ad also gives her credit for getting you a bigger refund. That could be yes or no, depending on your income level. She supported a bill that resulted in us receiving part of next year's Tabor refund early, prior to the November election. That's why we got checks from the state for $750 or $1,500. Was it bigger? For low-income earners, yeah. For people with high incomes, no. Instead of the amount of the refund increasing based on income level, the check we got was the same, no matter how much you make. During her debate with Kirkmeyer on 9 News last week, Caraveo talked about how Tabor restricts funding for education. Any regrets on trying to take away Tabor refunds? I think that it really affects the health of children, but it is the law of the land, and so I will follow that law. Now, back to more Spider-Man. But Barbara Kirkmeyer voted no instead. Regarding the Tabor refund, this claim is accurate in that she voted no on the bill that sent out some of your Tabor refund early and equally no matter your income level. But she did not vote no on your refund. She voted no on changing how it was coming back to you. The National Republican Congressional Committee ad attacking Caraveo also touches a topic we've already covered and conveniently uses a stat I showed you except the ad does not provide the correct context. Here's the part of the ad. The ad tries to blame Caraveo for 12,000 oil and gas jobs being lost in Colorado. Blame based on a Caraveo bill that changed how oil and gas is regulated in the state. But that number is true. It just does not decipher between that bill, COVID, and any other issue that might have impacted oil and gas since 2019. And I want to show you some other stats real quick. Yeah. It doesn't show the other stats we talked about in the story that oil and gas friendly states, Texas, Alaska, and Wyoming, also have lost oil and gas jobs. Texas, if they're going to show 12,000 here, they should show minus 78,000, which I know you asked Kirkmeyer about in the interview. Yeah, we talked about that in last week's debate. Why, why is she blaming Caraveo for lost jobs in Colorado when pro-oil and gas states also lost jobs? Mm -hmm. And basically your answer was, well, I don't know about those other states, but I'm definitely blaming her for Colorado. Sure. On the taxpayer bill of rights, mm -hmm. I feel like we've talked about this a million times, but it's important because it's people's money in the end, and, and folks should know that there's some really kind of disingenuous claims that are being made. If there's anything that you know from watching next about Tabor. It's the Tabor refund part of Tabor and that you get a vote on every possible tax increase because of Tabor. So if you know that much, you know enough about Tabor. My issue is we've done Tabor. We've done this. I don't know if I can keep going back to the well on truth tests in Congressional District 8. We've already had the debate. I, I maybe trust that you know enough now that you can make a decision and I'll move on to other races to concentrate on my focus. The bottom line of it's pretty simple. Democrats tried to get rid of the Tabor refunds, but having lost that battle, they juiced them larger for lower income taxpayers this year. I mean, that's just a straight up factual claim. All right, Marshall, thank you.